Spook Hill, the legend. Ages ago, a Native American town on Lake Wales Lake was plagued with raids by a huge gator. The town's great warrior chief and the gator were killed in a final battle that created the huge swampy depression nearby. The chief was buried on its north side. Later, pioneer haulers coming from the old army trail atop the ridge above found their horses laboring here at the foot of the ridge and called it Spook Hill. Is the gator seeking revenge? Or the chief protecting his land? Who knows? Maybe we'll find out, I don't know, we'll see. And this, I believe, over here is that great swampy depression that the sign was talking about, right? Yeah, exactly. Where the, the, the chief and the gator had their huge battle, apparently. By the way, shout out to our pals, Mark Muncy, Carrie Schultz. Florida. We have uh, also been referencing Erie, Florida, because there's a whole chapter whole in chapter. there on Spook Hill, as well as the other place that we are visiting today, and uh, it's been very helpful. You know, and Mark elaborates more on the story. Mm -hmm. The name of the chief, it's its hard to pronounce. It's C-U-F-C-O-W-E-L-L-A-X. I think that's Kukalax? Mm -hmm. Chief Kukalax? was the name of the chief that was okay. the gator. There you go. What's the name of the gator? The gator? Actually, I don't think they named the gator. Oh, that's a shame. We can name it ourselves, though. Yeah? Gator J. Ga gator J. I like yeah. it. Yeah. <laughs> I can't imagine where you came up with that name from. Oh. <laughs> Hello everyone, welcome and welcome, welcome back. back. So we're here in Lake Wales, Florida, specifically right now at the very edge of Spook Hill. I have never been here before. This is a very classic and from what the book says, like the very first and free roadside attraction yeah, here in free. Florida. This Roll is, right up. This, exactly, no this is a staple here in Florida. I actually can't believe I've never been here before. Um, so first time, very exciting. You've been here before, but it's your first time Years vlogging. Ago. Yeah, first time. I think I was here before YouTube even began. Yeah, I think you, I'm sure you probably were. <laughs> um, so, we are here today, it is, uh, as of the time of this recording, December 31st, the last day of 2022. Happy New Year. And uh, so Happy New Year, everybody. And uh, so by the time you see this, it is now 2023. Happy yeah. New Year, very, very exciting. We thought we would end the year off on kind of a spookyish, creepyish note because... That's us. Well, that is us, yeah. I mean, come on. It's very on brand, but <laughs> it's actually Tampa Jay's 666th video Isn't for that crazy? his channel. That is insane. First of all, a huge achievement and congratulations because that's a lot of videos. That's a, uh, yeah, it's a very spooky number to many. But it's a very spooky many. number. To some so, people it's just a number, but on this others, channel, yeah. or this one. It means something. It means something. So, and on top of that, we stopped at Publix before this. And oh, we yeah. bought just a couple of things. And the total amount came, came out, out to six dollars. And sixty-six. Sixty-six cents. I should probably that, share that. If you believe yeah. if you don't believe in coincidences like I do, that's kind of weird. But anyway, all that aside, uh, besides Spook Hill, we're actually gonna go back to Bach Tower as well, um, which we'll I'll talk about that once we actually get over yeah. there. So anyway, we're just enjoying the last day here um, in 2022. Just to kind of exploring and, and doing our things. So without further ado, let's get going. Let's get spooky and uh, go up or down the hill or whatever. We'll figure this whichever out. Whichever way we're supposed to Get to the go. bottom of it. No okay. pun intended. Yeah, or the top of it. One of those. <laughs> One of the, whatever we're supposed to do. Okay, let's go. Bye-bye. So it's pretty cool. This whole little area here, basically you pull up your car up to the white line like this car is doing right now and then you place it in neutral and then basically see what happens. I guess you're supposed to roll backwards, but it's not gonna seem like you're supposed to go backwards. It should seem like you should go forwards or stay in neutral and not go any, I'm not honestly really sure what's we'll supposed to, to happen, but we will, uh, we will see. Back there it looked like it was downhill, but right here it feels like we're supposed to be going 
we're rolling forward. I'm gonna do this real time. See, I'm, I'm gonna go a little past the white line. Okay. I'm in drive. We're rolling uphill. So you're in drive, you're not I'm pressing in drive. the, I'm not, you're not I'm pressing not the gas, and down we're going here. uphill. And we're going uphill. Okay, now that's drive. a little weird. That is a little weird, I'm not gonna lie. Okay, we're still going uphill. Hmm. Yeah. Okay, now we're starting to bottom out. The car stopped. Yeah. Interesting. So we're about to go back through around to do Spook Hill one more time, but we decided to stop at the elementary school because check it out, it's called Spook Hill Elementary School. And if that is not the coolest name for an, for a school out there, I don't I don't know what is. Their mascot is uh is Casper, Casper the friendly ghost. Casper the friendly ghost. The That's amazing. Ghost and uh, we were just saying earlier too, like this is probably the only school in the world that's mascot is Casper. Like, come on, that's amazing. Okay, now we are going to head up to the white line and uh, then go ahead and put the car into neutral and see what happens. Tampa J is setting up his camera so he can get an outside shot of the car and I will keep my camera on the inside of the car. We're gonna see what happens. All right, here okay. we go. Let my foot off the brake. Okay, I'm neutral. And we're rolling pretty we're fast. Rolling yeah, oh boy. Okay, wow, look at that hustle. Woo! Okay, now I'm gonna hit the brake. It's a little scary, okay. All right, now go get my camera. Hmm. So that is kind of interesting how before when we initially got in the car you we were obviously the car was in drive and it just went up the hill naturally without right. your foot on it the gas it continued uphill now uphill. you are in drive so the gears are going naturally, that way but if but you're going uphill it should have would, stopped a lot sooner it should stop i think and roll back downhill. Yeah, which typically never what happened. Happen, happens happens on a hill in my car, it will roll back and drive. Yeah, in the Volkswagen, which didn't really happen in yeah. this instance. So that, that's interesting. And then this time around, we came up to the white line, put it in neutral, and we rolled back. We're like, yeah, we, like we're going. Shotgun. Yeah. So okay. I was up to like five miles per hour. That really is quick. a bit spooky, actually. That is a little bit weird. It is different. I'm not gonna lie. Yep. Okay. Cool. By the way, how cool is the sign that they have above the road here? I love that. Spook Hill. Okay, so Definitely spooky. Like By the way, in Erie, Florida, the story for Spook Hill is on page 66. So it is Tampa J's 666th video. We paid $6.66 for our snacks at Publix. And the story for Spook Hill is on page 66. No coincidence. This is getting a little weird. It's getting a little spooky, Just isn't it? Just a little bit spooky here, yeah. And we have once again made it inside of Bach Tower Gardens. Now, if you've been with the channel for a little bit here, this is our second time visiting Bach Tower. The first time that we were here, I was on my own. I can't remember where or what Tampa J was doing, but he wasn't with me. This time, Tampa J is with me. It and up too. this is your first time, first here, time here yeah. at Bach Tower I remember, Gardens. I remember like, driving up to the gates like 15, 16 years ago, just kind of exploring the area. And I remember the entrance fee was like, I think it was, I was, it was about $35 back then as well. And I was like, yeah. I barely had enough of gas to get out here. I didn't yeah, have, it's uh, some. Um, my pocket. It's so a little never, bit expensive. Yeah, it's a little bit expensive to get in here. Uh, but that being said, Bach Tower is and has been one of my most favorite gardens that I have been to, just in general. Not only on the channel, but just 
in my own life. So very, very excited to be back here. I can't wait to show Tampa J around. I think you're going to absolutely I love it. Vicariously, and uh -huh. I said, wow, what a beautiful place. I absolutely can't wait to go there. Yeah. Uh, especially with you today. So this is a big deal. This yeah, it's a big deal. It's very special. I, th I think you're really going to like it. And um, by the way, you may be wondering why the heck are they stopped on the side of the road in a random orange grove yeah. miles away from the Bach Tower talking about all of this. Well, we are coming back to our pals Mark Muncy and Carrie Schultz of Erie, Florida. We swear this is not a commercial for Erie, Florida, but we do reference their books oh, yeah. all the time. Um, they've been a huge inspiration for um, both of our channels. But uh, they have a whole chapter on Bach Tower Gardens as well. The gnomes of Bach Tower Gardens. And all of that uh, actually takes place within these orange groves. So if you want to hear the fascinating tale of the gnomes of Bach Tower, make sure you, well, first of all, buy check a out, copy of check Erie, it, Florida. Check out the book. Come on. But also you can check out Tampa Jay's video because he just told the whole story about it very eloquently here. And um, it's really, it's quite fascinating. There's the little, little, gnome. little gnome there illustrated by Some Kira call it Schultz. a gnome, some call it a troll. Some call it a leprechaun. Yeah, yeah, they have all kinds of different names. So I don't know. Keep your eyes open, everybody, for for little gnomes. Oh, you see that out here? Do you see some movement? I thought I saw something move over there. Hmm. Interesting. Also, got to point out these beautiful orange blossoms here. The oranges should be ripe in just a little bit of just a little bit of time here. So. Yay, welcome to Florida, everybody. Before we get much further, I want to say that this video's coffee is thanks to Lancelot. Thank you so much for supporting the channel as much as you do. You know I appreciate you. Cheers. Hope you enjoy Yay. this one and happy New Year's to you, my friend. Thanks, Lancelot. Make you the world a bit better or more beautiful because you have lived in it. Very nice sentiments to think about as we oh, go into 20. 23 Bach Tower Gardens. Hurrah! All right, back inside of the main area here. It is quite busy in this section, but I wanted to point out all of the lovely poinsettias in here. They obviously still have their holiday decorations out. And they've got a lovely little display out here as well. Again, all decorated for the holidays. I really like it. All of the air plants and whatnot and a huge fishbone cactus right in the middle here. Here we are in the main walkway area. The tower bells are going off behind us now. It's 2.05 more or less in the afternoon. I believe the tower goes off every hour on the hour so we're gonna try to be over there at 3 o'clock but for now I think we're just gonna walk the grounds. Yeah, enjoy it's it. It's a massive, it's beautiful so far. massive uh, grounds area that they have out here. So we have plenty to do in the meantime. We're inside of the children's garden now. I'm not showing like too much stuff because I went through this pretty thoroughly the last time I was here. But uh, this, if you remember, um, I drew a little thing on here. I think it's just said Chris the girl or whatever. And I just remembered it and I walked up here and was like, oh, I wonder if it's still here. And that was like back in March. And yeah, a we've had a few hurricanes and rain and wind. And so, um, I wonder where they keep those. Though. It's not here. Somewhere. Yeah, maybe they keep them somewhere. I don't know. But, uh, we one I drew for you. Yeah. You did that one? Yep. Are you sure you didn't do this one <gasps> here? Flamingos. Looking good. You're drawing a YouTube play button right now. Yep. Happy New Year, Chris the girl. I yeah. Did something similar. Keeping it simple. Happy New Year, love Tampa J and Chris the girl. There Aww. You go. There you go. It's good. I like it. have a whole session over here about composting and how to compost and 
well, all of that good stuff, and we were just kind of checking it out and musing about how, well, I was musing about how I would love to learn how to do my own composting, but check it out. Orange peels. Evidence of a Florida Bigfoot, AKA the skunk ape, and also, as learned today, the gnomes. The gnomes love the oranges. Yeah, and composting. So I think you heard it here first that skunk ape, he composts. So sure we all need to be much, much, much more like Skunk Ape. New Year resolution, 2023, and make it happen. Yep. Skunk it. Compost. Know it. Know it. Do it. And Bach Tower also has an extensive edible garden here with all of the herbs and all of that good stuff. One of my favorite parts of any botanical garden is this section. Looks like we got some oregano over here. There's some tea. The fuzzy stuff in the back there is fennel. Ooh, rosemary. Rosemary is my favorite, favorite plant. It always smells so good. Mmm, love rosemary. Go for tortoise in here. Tortoise. Tortoise. It's definitely real too. You can see it moving. It's a gopher. Not that kind of gopher. Hey there, buddy. Happy hey. New Year. Happy New Year, gopher. It's very, very peaceful out here as it typically is here at Bach Tower Gardens, at least from what I found. But what I did not find last time is this nice little marker here. It says the Mountain Lake Sanctuary. And it's actually, um, I think the map was saying it was a 1929 little uh, monument here along the trail. And it says the sanctuary is owned by the American Foundation a nonprofit corporation created and endowed by Edward Bach to hold title to the sanctuary and seeing tower and to maintain them. Mr. Bach bought the property, planted it, built the tower, and presented the sanctuary to the American people for visitation. And it was dedicated by President Calvin Coolidge on February 1st, 1929. So nice little, uh, little monument here as we continue onward and what I'd gather, throughout the garden. This is the former entrance. You think so? That's what that sign over there, I, th I think that's what This it's sign? Called. Okay, yeah, yeah, that, I mean, that would make sense to me, I yeah, check it out. Entrance to the sanctuary, an automobile grove, interesting. Okay, very cool. Just a close up of the branch here with all of, with the fern. I believe it's a fern, it's gotta be a fern. Growing along the side of it. Very cool, very yeah. Florida. That's for sure, and the staghorn fern, right up in there. like uh, we've entered a jungle. And there is a vast difference from this weekend compared to last weekend. Last weekend it was in like the 40s. Yeah. And oh. it is very muggy and warm. It's sticky today. out here. It's kind of disgusting. Back. <laughs> yeah, basically. Okay, I stopped us. Yeah, because, because we're we go... about to round the bend and you're going to see the tower for so the first time. This is yes, yeah, so this will be the first time I've seen it like in full week. Like yeah, so than... okay. We're gonna document the experience, okay. all right. Let me fire up mine too. Yeah. Oh wow, branches are in the way. Wow, oh my gosh, wow. Oh my glory. <laughs> Just as I expected. And uh, wow, a lot better in person. It's pretty amazing, huh? The camera is doing it no justice nope, right now. Nope, it really doesn't. A, that is immaculate.
And it is pretty darn glorious. As I was just telling Jay, you know, honestly, Block Tower was pretty medium to low on my list of places to visit. Initially, I wasn't super excited about coming out here the first time I came out here, which is why it kind of took me so long. Um, and then I came here and then I stood right here in this spot. I saw it for the first time and I was just like, wow, this is amazing. This is easily one of the coolest things here in Florida, certainly that I have ever seen. And um, I just can't believe that it took me this long in my life to, to come out here and see it in person. So I can't recommend it enough. Yes, it's quite expensive, but this is just spectacular. Now it's playing Noel. Pretty darn amazing. Now it's playing Silent Night. It's playing Silent Night, yeah. I don't know. Would you? <laughs> Make it up words. <laughs> They're playing a lot of very beautiful Christmas songs. Yeah. Which, out of all of the Christmas songs, honestly, and maybe weirdly enough, the religious ones are usually my favorite. Like Noel and uh, Silent Night and all of that stuff. They're just so beautiful. They're, yeah. I don't know, they're just really, really, the really pretty. Hymns. Yeah, the old hymns, so it's nice to hear it on the Bach Tower. It's gorgeous. I hope it plays Fair Jaca. <laughs> I could really go for some Fair Jaca. What do you think so far? I am blown away. Yeah? Yeah, like, um, as I said before, like, you know, you see it in video, and you have to imagine everything. Everything in video and real, of course, is you know it doesn't. The camera doesn't know justice. Yep. We've only just begun walking towards it. Yeah. And just this area alone, which you Very said pretty. is your favorite. And I see. Yeah. Right. Yep. I haven't. I've never been a place quite like this. It's just filled with natural beauty. And, mm -hmm. a, and the the tower is beautiful. It is. Songs. Yeah. There's nothing like this. Yeah. Let's get up closer. I love it. koi fish out here. Yeah. They're huge, huh? It's kind of neat how you can go like right up. Yeah, don't fall in. Yeah, don't fall in. And as old Christmas tree plays directly in front of us here, in front of this door, is where Mr. Bach is buried, right in front of his tower. Very fittingly so. So rest in peace, Mr. Bach. Thank you for building such a beautiful, beautiful spot. Lots of people out here picnicking, sitting down, enjoying this beautiful view. It is pretty spectacular back this way as well. Here is a pan of the beautiful view out here. Even though it's very overcast, it is still quite lovely. And you can see, you see pretty darn clearly down there. I think yeah. all of those groves down there that's the orange groves maybe that we drove through earlier or they're somewhere over there yeah. 
I don't know, in any case, definitely orange grows. And then directly behind us, there is the tower. It has stopped playing, but uh, give it a few more minutes and I'm sure it will start once again. Ooh, you brought pretzels? As we sit here on the bench, admiring the beauty of Bok Tower, eating our snack. Cause you, you know, you gotta stop and, and just take a moment to take it all in here. It's very beautiful. And in the background, faintly on the wind, someone's playing Barbie Girl. Cause and it's a Barbie world. It is. Come on Barbie. You can brush my hair. You can take me anywhere. Come on, Barbie. <laughs> Let's go party. Oh, 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 yeah. <laughs> when we walked in, this whole area was swarming with people, children running around, having a great old time. And now it has very much deserted out. We have this whole area basically to ourselves. And look at these really, really pretty flowers here too. Very beautiful purple color. So we're hanging out over here by the tower. I think it's about five minutes to four. So we're gonna hang out for just a second to hear, hear, the, hear the bells ring again. Alright, we are walking away from the tower now as the wind blows and the sun sets and it plays its bells. In my previous video I titled it Haunt The Hauntingly Beautiful Bach Tower or whatever the heck I said, but Hauntingly Beautiful still stands today. Easily one of the prettiest and truly hauntingly beautiful places that I've ever been to. So goodbye, Bach Tower. Happy New Year, everyone. Maybe I found more evidence of the skunk ape. Oh, look at that. Oh, look at corn. all the corn out here. Can they, can skunk ape not digest corn Where'd either? Where does corn come from? Yeah, I don't know. Maybe he was trying to pop some corn while watching the <laughs> Bach Tower. I don't really know. It's a mystery. All right, placing your camera here. You know, more like this. Oh, you're so beautiful, look at that. Such a lucky man. Make sure, make sure they're kind of similar. And the squirrel is watching us. Oh, oh boy. Making noises. All right, we've got both monitors. Like that. There he goes off into the. There's two of them. There's a squirrel in my tree. There's a squirrel in my tree. He's looking at us. Yep. There's, there's seriously like get the heck out of here. About to get a show. For you. Will you? You're not serious. I am so serious. I love you and I cannot imagine my life without you. And if I didn't do this way, you wouldn't be surprised right now, I don't think. I am so serious. I'm sorry. It wouldn't be a Chris the Girl vlog if I didn't make you cry, right? I love you. <laughs> I love you too. Yes, I'll be 
Okay. Yes! Oh yes! I love you. Okay. I love you. I didn't mean to make you cry. <laughs> I didn't mean to cry either. I love you. Let me see. I love. <laughs> Mary, you won your 666. <laughs> <laughs> 666! <laughs> oh, fame. I can't, like, is this real life? I seriously. There you go. That's the right hand, right? Yeah. I hope this fits. If it does it, we'll fix it. It fits pretty good. Yeah. I may have put it on backwards. I mean it. I absolutely mean it. Do you mean it? Yeah. I love you. This, I can't, like, this is real life? This is it. This is it. Oh my gosh. Hey. Look. The cameras are rolling. I'm, I'm engaged. <laughs> there's there's the squirrel. Right I just want to eat my corn. Oh my gosh. There is hey, corn right there. Crap. I can't believe it. I love you. I love you too. I can't, like, I don't even understand, like, what's going on right now. Were you surprised? Yeah. <laughs> I'm never surprised. <laughs> you surprised the heck out of me. I can't believe it. I know for a fact that if I would have, you know, not done it this way, yeah, you would have no saw way. it coming. Yeah, there's no way. Yeah, holy moly. I'm like, I'm just shocked. Got both cameras going right now. Yeah. Thank you, babe. You don't have I to thank you. me. Forever. A plan to make a plan. Yeah. You want to show them the ring? Yeah. There you go. Can you see it on both? And she said yes. I did say it. Yeah, I said yes. <laughs> yeah. Wow. I figured we'd share the moment. Yeah. With everyone and the squirrel. And the squirrel. He's eating the corn now. Yeah. All right, that's our favorite squirrel now. Yep. We're engaged, Mr. Squirrel. We're engaged. We're Earl? Earl squirrel? <laughs> I love you. Oh, I love you too. Love you. I can't believe that just happened. I know, right? I can't I've been so nervous. I've got a story to tell you. Okay. I've got a story. Okay. Yeah. It's beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. So it's yellow gold and it has diamonds around the outside and the inside is a, a black diamond, which is what I wanted and it's in a pear shape. Pear it's shape. beautiful, babe. It's, it's gorgeous. I love it. You did such a great job and it even fits pretty darn well too. I tried. I tried to... Yeah. Your, my pinky is about the size of your ring finger, so I yeah. that. Wow. I'm an engaged woman. I'm an engaged man. Yeah, you are. Okay, so yesterday, uh huh, I told a little fib. Okay. A white lie. I said I got off of work late. Yes. I didn't. Okay. I met up with your parents. Oh. I just wanted them to know. Oh. You know. So shout out to Bob and Kathy. This uh, this all happened relatively quick, and like we were saying, if if I didn't do it like we were going out making a video you know and planned it i would have sewn right through it so i just made it another day in the life of chris and jay yeah this day happy new year everyone and what squirrels going up and down <laughs> <laughs> the squirrel's happy for us yeah i think so this is the best day of my life that's the best day of my life i don't even know like i'm just flabbergasted you know it kind of like went through um my mind earlier of like how i was saying because my um my grandparents got, yep. got, got engaged 
on New Year's Day. New Year's, yeah, New Year's Eve or New Year's Day, right. one of those. And my parents got married on New Year's Eve. That's right. 38 so, years ago. It's special for a lot of reasons. And um, so I remember telling you that story and, and it kind of ran through my mind like really quick earlier today, like, oh yeah, it's New Year's Eve. I'm like, eh, you know, and then I just, cause we were supposed to like go ring shop. Like we were gonna like- So I threw you off. Yeah, I kept saying, really yeah, we'll did. go try on rings. But secretly I knew in the back of my head, if I did that, you knew it would be coming. Yeah. It would be more of a Yep, yep. A thing. That's why I, it didn't even cross my mind that like this would happen to me. And so. uh, I set that all up. I actually started this video yesterday. Oh. So there is much behind. Wow. Holy moly. Oh, I can't wait to watch it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> my mind is blown. I have never been surprised before or I flabbered. Day, you know, I've I had no idea. I had no idea. Kudos to you, because that's very hard to do, to surprise me. And this is I'm just shocked beyond belief. It's gonna be the best year ever. I love you. I love you too. And there's nothing I wouldn't do for you. I'd kill for this girl. And this just makes sense. We have to confirm the rest of our lives together right here, Buck Tower. Yeah. I do. No, we're not getting married yet. Uh, yeah. <laughs> we got. We make. We're making a plan. Yeah. To make a plan. Yeah. But um. Much ahead. It's an honor to have such a a beautiful, amazing girlfriend who I have never loved someone so much in my entire life, and I have never felt the things I felt for anyone as I feel for you, and I don't want to lose that. We've made so many beautiful memories in just a year alone and think of all the good times ahead yeah we're gonna share so yeah i love you i love you too babe it's an honor for me it's a, it's a beast honor that's why i'm crying so hard because it just i love you so much I love you. now we gotta call your mom and dad oh okay <laughs> just realizing that this isn't this is more like a statement than a than a question I didn't put a question mark, you, did I? You put an exclamation mark. <laughs> will you marry me? Will you, will you marry me? The answer was yes. I, without question. <laughs> I don't know. I should have put a question mark. That's okay. It's not a question. We've been talking about it for a while, this so. This is the happiest, greatest moment, day of my life. Me too. There's nothing I wouldn't do for you. It's nothing I wouldn't do for you. Just meant to be. You're my best friend. And I don't want to live without you ever or think about. That thought scares me to death. You won't have to. I love you. I love you. How amazing. <laughs> is it sunk in yet? It is going to take a very long time. A very, very long time. Can't believe it. Can't believe it either. It's the most beautiful day of my she life. She said yes. I said yes. Yes. I did. I'm gonna marry Tampa J. I'm the luckiest man alive. I can't believe it. Girl. Can't believe I'm gonna marry Tampa J. That I is shouted your name from the rooftop of a garage yesterday. <laughs> okay. Goodbye for real, Bach Tower. Can't stop looking at the ring because it's just too pretty. Tower just got it's ugly. Perfect. Dogs. Yeah, truly. This <laughs> no. is all I want to look oh, at. No, just sorry, kidding. Mr. Yeah. Perfect Go. place to get engaged. It all worked out amazingly. And no one walked up on us either. Like we had a full like so, ten minutes there. I picked I, I don't know, you probably can tell now what I was doing. Now I guess, but yeah. I was trying to scope out the perfect spot. I yeah. know we didn't want too pe many people watching, which made this place perfect. Yeah because we could go off into um, into a cove. Yeah, it was beautiful. Thank you, babe. All right. <laughs> Goodbye, Bach Tower, for real this time. Hello forever. Hello forever with Tampa J. <laughs> I had to make a plan. Yeah. Love you. You're the greatest person to ever walk the face of that earth in my heart. I agree. Love you. Love you. Hey, Mr. Bunny. Isn't that amazing? Okay.
Goodbye, little bunny. Happy New Year. All right, goodbye, Bach Tower Gardens. Forever will be the place where Tampa J and Chris the Girl got engaged. Yep. Oh, wait, that's the, not my hand. Yeah, that's not the hand. This <laughs> is the hand right here. Amazing. Just amazing. Okay, we're gonna we're gonna call the parents now. Oh, we're good. How are you doing? Good. I I have news that I think evidently you know about. <laughs> yeah, I I yeah I know I know you guys are you have you're totally in the dark on this, but uh, I am I'm now engaged. Yay! And I am too. Yeah, and so is Tampa J. <laughs> well, I got something important to tell you. Um, I can't wait to hear it. Yeah. I guess no speakerphone if that's okay. Yeah, that's fine. Uh, Chris and I yes. are engaged. Oh, awesome. Congratulations. <laughs> Yay, yeah, thank you. Story. Both of the moms have been notified of the big news. And now, well, we haven't really eaten that much today. So we're going to get some food. And uh, what better way to celebrate our engagement than by going somewhere very special and dear to right. our hearts? Fazoli's. Hope you like Italian. Woo! <laughs> I can't think of any better place than Fazoli's to celebrate our what just happened. Spare no expense. The only, only surprise you knew about. Yep, yep. And you may be thinking, wow, Fazoli's really Year's on the day that you get engaged on New Year's Eve, by the way, which is why we're, what you're hearing back there is hopefully fireworks. But uh, there's, we love Fazoli's and Fazoli's means a lot to the both of us. And it wouldn't feel right going to like a fancy restaurant. Hey, it's New Year's Eve, they're all booked. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> so, it, so Fazoli's is perfect and we have, uh, we have a we have Christmas gift cards card, uh, yeah. from Kim. Kim. Yep. And she got us some Fazoli's. The uh, there you go. Gift cards. gift cards. So this one's on Kim. Thanks, Kim. Yep. Thank you, Kim. Happy New Year. Happy New Year. Spare no expense <laughs> at the Fazoli's. And we have the Fazoli's. I got the spaghetti with marinara sauce. My fiance Tampa J got the TV Fredo, so we are excited and happy. And the breadsticks are coming any moment now. That's a wrap for Fazoli's. We're gonna head on out, head home, get back to the villa before too much of the fireworks start going off, and uh, right. just enjoy the evening together as an engaged couple. <laughs> It's awesome. It is awesome. All right. Oh, it's so surreal. I it, love it. We'll end it at home too. Okay, let's go. All right, everybody. As you can see, we are now oh. back home. Thank you all so much for watching yes, the video. Uh, started off this day, this video, not expecting the outcome of what actually happened. <laughs> I had no idea what was going to happen. Yes today yeah. and I really hope that that comes across because that's exactly what happened otherwise I probably wouldn't have worn this outfit I might have taken a little <laughs> bit more time to, to spruce up this morning but anyway you look absolutely um, beautiful. it was the perfect day uh, with the perfect person and the most perfect engagement that I could have ever asked for um, it's all just perfect it, it really it still doesn't feel real. It feels like a dream because it's just, it's too, it's too amazing. And it's too amazing to really even put into words. It is really, it's hard to put into words because there's so, so much emotion behind this day and our love our speaks, speaks more of the words. Yeah. It's, it's just perfect. And you're the perfect person for me and this just felt right. I bet a lot of people are out there saying, we knew it. We knew this was coming. Yeah, you know, probably a lot so. of people saying, well, it's about time. It's about to, time, Tampa J. And all of that stuff. So it, it couldn't be a more so, perfect day. It, it really couldn't. And, um, you know, I 
am just so beyond happy to be with the person that I love more than anything. Me too, I love you. And um, do anything for you. It's just, what can I say? I'm just beyond happy. I think we, all three of us Bailey. are. So really appreciate you all watching oh, the video. She has something to say. Bella is wishing to make herself known today. But um, thank you all so much for watching the video and for being with us on such a such an important day together. And uh, make sure you check out Tampa Jay's video as well because he did have his camera it's here somewhere. Put it down. too. <laughs> and evidently filmed like a heck of a lot more than I yeah. even realized. So there's that. Um, so make sure you check that out. And yeah, Happy New Year, everybody. New By the year, time everyone. you watch this, it is really New anxious. Year's Day. 2023 brand new year i already went into all of my kind of resolutions and goals and thoughts about all of that make in sure my you check out that video, video. If you have it. it's really good um thank you so yeah i hope you all have a great year and as always thank you for being a part of the channel thank so, you so much bye, -bye everybody good night happy new year we sure do so, we're bye. getting married next we're week <laughs> i don't know about that <laughs> but someday we are getting married. So much ahead. Yay, much ahead. Way There's something ahead. in the future. There you go. Bella okay. wants to go Bye outside. everybody. Yes, yeah, she is. Yes, she is. She's anxious. She is ready, ready <laughs> to go in many different ways. So okay. Bye bye everybody. Good night. See bye. you later. Bye bye. Bye bye.